Jay, how do you just kind of describe the emotions of you guys who are going off in this moment now? The game's almost here. Right, yeah, it's an exciting time. Um, I definitely say it's an exciting time. We're out here just, I mean, trying to stack days, right? And we've been doing that since the spring, really since, I mean, since January, right, with mat drills. Um, and throughout the, the fall, um, all throughout the summer, and, I mean, yeah, just keep stacking days, and we want to go into it full throttle and with all confidence, and it's an exciting time, man. Yeah, you just got to be consistent. I think you just have to be consistent in what you're doing. I mean, consistent with your job, um, knowing your job. And, I mean, I think there's a saying that, I mean, like, like I've been around, right? Um, been uh, different places. And over at Miami, Coach Feld, uh, the strength coach, used to talk about emotional consistency, right? And that's been the same guy every day, right? Every day that you come in, you want to be the same guy. So everybody knows what they're going to get out of you. Um, and, I mean, you know how to, to bounce back from adversity and turn the page quick, right? Um, so, I mean, yeah, I think that uh, it's important that we, uh, we keep that. And um, uh, don't do anything extra. Just, I mean, just do your job and things will fall in place for us. What would you say the strength of, of Jay Garcia's game is as a quarterback? I'd say uh, definitely uh, being in my system, um, being good at what, I, what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I think that's the most important thing as a quarterback is to be – good at what you have to do at your job, right? And uh, um, how to operate within certain plays. Um, but I would definitely say that a strength of mine is, is as a quarterback, I think to make the people around you better. Um, I think to, to make your receivers better, your offensive line better, your running backs better, um, and also the defense that goes for the defense too, right? We've been uh, uh, going against each other, against the defense every day, right? Since spring and fall and the whole deal. So, I mean, now coming together as a team, it's gonna be fun to put it together. Um, but I mean, I think that that'd be my strength is, uh, I mean, obviously playing, like uh, I said, just like pushing the ball down the field and getting the ball into, um, into the fast guy's hands right now, right, um, and being able to make decisions. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely as a quarterback, I think my strength is uh, making the people around me better. Coming in as a new quarterback, what message do you kind of want to show the fans about what this new offense is going to look like this year? You mean in terms of uh, the first game? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, we just want to play fast, right? We want to play our ball. Um, and that means that means executing at a high level and taking um, taking what they give us, um, being smart, uh, being smart, me being smart, um, us being smart on the perimeter, us being smart up front, um, in the backfield, and uh, um, I mean just we just want to show that we're an explosive offense, right? We want to show that we can put up points um, and that that our defense is gonna we're gonna play complementary football, right? So that's what we want to show our first game. I definitely say that I learned how to handle adversity. Learn how to handle adversity. Um, I mean, I've had adversity when I was in high school and whatnot, and and always found a way to overcome it. Um, then my freshman year over at Miami um, had some adversity. My first game uh, went out there and tore my ankle up. Uh, I had five torn ligaments in my ankle. My first my first college football game, right? Um, and that was like in the second quarter. Ended up playing the rest of the game. Went out there to threw two touchdowns because um, I was competing for the job at the time. So I mean, that's something that I'm like I'm, I'm not going to get taken out right now. I'm not going to get taken out. Just having the heart to do that um, uh, for my teammates and whatnot. But I mean, then come back and I got I got sat down right. So I couldn't come back from that. Couldn't walk the next day. And um, I think it just showed me how to handle adversity and and play your role right. Play your role, and I think it helped me to become a better teammate as well. Um, I think it helped me to become a better teammate and to relate to people, um, to to see somebody walking out of the out of the facility and and fall camp is hard. Fall camp is hard, man. Um, so yeah, you see somebody walking out of there and they're they're in their head about something like, man, I'm tired of this. Like, I can't do it. Like, and it, it, it's young guys a lot of the times, right? Um, but I mean, yeah, you go put your arm around them and hey, like, listen, like, what are you going through? Talk to me. And then being able to open up and you being able to relate and have similar stories or find a different way to, to um, help them out. And that's really like perspective and whatnot. I feel like that's what I've learned through the past journey that I've had. What's standing out about Norfolk State on film? Um, I would say that, uh, um, I mean, they played a good game for sure um, against FAMU. Uh, they're a talented team. Um, I think we have uh, we have some stuff that we could get after them with on the offensive side of the ball, um, from an offensive standpoint. Um, 
but I'm in a, uh, I'm excited to go against, uh, against that defense. And, uh, it looks like they're, uh, I won't get into too much about it, but uh, yeah, excited to play. Coach Houston mentioned yesterday that both you and Kate had gotten better at practice since you were named starter. You think just having that starter name behind you is maybe giving you a little bit more edge in practice heading up this week? Yeah, I feel like it definitely, you know, it kind of clears your mind a little bit. Um, it makes things a little bit more clear. And I mean, I, I feel like as, as somebody that's been around, um, and somebody that, that is, I would say that I'm an ult like the ultimate competitor um, and always wants to win and always wants to do the best that I can. I try to carry myself like the starter before I'm the starter, right? And like last year, um, I didn't take a snap. Uh, but I mean, going out there every day and I'm trying to carry myself like I'm the starter, right? And preparing like I'm the starter, uh, trying to take care of my body like I'm the starter. And I feel like like just constantly, because I mean, you, my thing is, is, you wake up in the morning and you have two guys on your shoulder, right? You have you have the one that's negative and he's gonna wake up and he's gonna be bigger than the positive guy, right? Your alarm goes off, you're like, man, it's hardly like you're feeding into him, right? You gotta talk to yourself, right? So talk to yourself rather than listen to yourself. And that's something that I share with the guys too. It's talking to yourself um, as opposed to listening to yourself and just speaking things into ex existence um, is big. So yeah, I think uh, I definitely carried myself uh, like the starter before I was a starter, and I think Kaiten did as well. Um, I feel like our quarterback room is mature, and, and I feel like all of us have, have done a great job of pushing each other. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I feel like it's kind of cleared things up a little bit more and uh, um, allowed me to play a little bit more freely. Anything else? Thanks, Brian. Thank you, guys.